who's hungry? The deli's open. Hey guys, Marco D'Angelo here with another edition of Marco's Deli, where we're going to break down some of the sandwich situation uh, in college football. And I'm even going to give you some NFL plays later in the show this week. You guys asked for it. We're delivering it. Uh, let's talk about some sandwich spots this week in college football. This first one, if you watched bet on it, I already gave this one out there. And that was Central Florida plus three as they traveled to Arizona State. Bad spot for Arizona State. They're coming off becoming bowl eligible last week when they beat Oklahoma State. Now, Oklahoma State may have the worst defense in the country, so I'm not putting a lot of stock into that win. And Arizona State, off the bowl-eligible win, that was their sixth win, they've got Kansas State on deck, followed by BYU, undefeated BYU after that. This is a bad spot for Arizona State. Look at Central Florida plus the points. Another one we want to take a look at is North Texas. Now, they're getting six points against Army. Army is coming off their Air Force um, showdown. Now, they won that game to remain undefeated, but that's always a big deal for Army. Whenever Army, Navy, or Air Force play one another, there's added incentive is the military schools always battle for the commanders in chief trophy. So that was a big game last week for them. And guess what? They play Notre Dame next. Now, I'm going to point out that Notre Dame game is in two weeks. They got to buy next week. So that tapers this play a little bit. This would be a much stronger play if Notre Dame was next week instead of in two weeks. But it's still a sandwich spot coming off a big game last week against Air Force and having Notre Dame on deck. So if you're going to bet this one, you got to look at North Texas plus the points or you don't play this one. Another one we're going to take a look at is Virginia travels to Pittsburgh to play my Pitt Panthers. Bad spot for the Pitt Panthers. They're coming off their first loss of the season. Last week, they went on the road and played fellow undefeated ACC member SMU. That was a huge game. Two undefeated teams in the ACC. Pitt took a beating. Now, the knee-jerk reaction would be, for Pitt to bounce back this week, but look at who they've got on deck next week. Yeah, the top gun, perennial top gun in the ACC, they play Clemson next week. Pitt could be in one of those spots where they lose the same game twice coming off that loss to SMU last week. If they're not focused for Virginia and look ahead to Clemson, they're going to lose this game. Only one way I can look at this one, and that's Virginia plus the points. Uh, they're getting seven and a half in that one. Now, I'm going to have some more plays for you in a moment. Just want to tell you, if you made it this far in the video and you like what you see here, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up, give us that like. It really helps out the channel. And if you want to make sure you never miss a video from me, hit the subscribe button. You'll be notified every time a new video is available. And uh, guys, leave me a comment. Tell me what you like about the show, what you don't like. Hey, you left me comments last week. Guys asked for some NFL. I'm going to give you some NFL uh, as well on this video. So tell me what you like and what you don't like. I enjoy reading the comments every week. And before we get to the remainder of the schedule here, I want to tell you, I've got a special offer this week. It's my birthday week. Yes, I turned 63 this week, and I do it every year. We charge seven days. The normal price is $99. My birthday week, I offer it every year for the age I turned. And I turned 63, so you can pick up seven days this week for $63. And there's not a better time to do so, guys. We are on fire. Currently at Wager Talk, I am the number one handicapper over the last three days, seven days, and 14 days. We have been absolutely killing it at Wager Talk. And if you go back uh, since uh, the last uh, two weeks here, we have made 41 units going 19 and seven for our clients. And all the way back to January 7th of this year, 
We're up 114 units for our clients. Uh, head on over to wagertalk.com. You don't need a coupon. It is already marked down to $63. Just grab a seven-day all-access, and that would include a big 5% major wager this week. You know the record on those plays. 14 wins, three losses, and one push uh, since February. Six and one this season. You'll get a big 5% this weekend. All right, let's pick up the rest of these sandwich games. We've got one more college, and then we'll jump in with two pro games to take a look at. This one is more of a trap game than a sandwich game, and we're going to take a look at Washington. They're getting 13 and a half from Penn State. Penn State, horrible spot for them this week. I don't know how they pick themselves up off the mat. Penn State had Ohio State at home. They had them down 10 nothing. Crowd going crazy. Undefeated Penn State could have basically punched their ticket to the national championship playoffs with that win last week. And once again, Penn State came up short. They didn't score an offensive touchdown in that game uh, and lost to Ohio State once again. James Franklin's under a lot of heat once again because he can't win the big game. And I just don't know how they stay focused this week for a pesky Washington team getting nearly two touchdowns. Only way I can look at this one is Washington plus the 13 and a half is Penn State is in a what I would call a trap situation uh, coming off that loss last week. Now, moving over to the NFL, uh, I did give this one out on bet on it. I'm going to give it out here as well. And that's Indianapolis plus the points against Buffalo. They're catching four points here. Buffalo is in an absolutely horrible spot. They're coming off a big win last week against Miami. The reason that was a big win is it basically gave them clinch the AFC East because they have beaten Buffalo or excuse me, Buffalo has beaten Miami twice this season. Um, they've got a five-game lead over them, a four-game lead over the Jets, and they already beat the Jets and get the Jets in Buffalo later in the season. So for all intents and purposes, Buffalo clinched the division last week. And, oh, who do they have on deck? Yeah, that team that they just can't seem to beat, the Kansas City Chiefs. Next week, playoff revenge. Tough spot for Buffalo. I don't know how they come into Indianapolis focus. Indianapolis is a dangerous underdog. They are only four and five this year straight up, but they're seven and two against the spread. Why are they seven and two against the spread? Well, because they lose the majority of their games by eight points or less. Uh, Got to take a look at Indianapolis plus the points. They are a very live home dog. And the last one I'm going to give you, this is what I refer to as an absolute trap game for the Detroit Lions. Just like I said yet with the last game, Buffalo coming off that big win over division rival Miami, Detroit's in the same boat. Detroit beat Green Bay in Green Bay last week. That was the game of the year so far for Detroit. Green Bay was nipping at their heels, and they went into Green Bay, Lambeau Field, Weather was a factor. It was raining in that game. Everybody felt a indoor team like the Lions would struggle outdoor with the elements, and they got the job done. Now, in a matter of three weeks, they've beaten both Minnesota and Detroit, their two main uh, competition in the division, and they beat them both on the road, meaning they still have to play both of them again, but they get both of them in Detroit. That was a big win. They can't help but be feeling fat and sassy this week. And who do they got? Well, they got Houston. Houston's coming off that Thursday night loss. Well, last week we went against Houston simply because they were playing on Thursday night football on the road. We tell you all the time, road teams on Thursday night games have a disadvantage, especially when they're playing a team that's not a division rival that they're familiar with from playing twice a year. So we were on the Jets. Now that disadvantage from last week is actually an advantage because they've had extra days to prepare for Detroit. Right now, the stock couldn't be any higher on the Detroit Lions, and we're getting a fantastic price with Houston at home. I suggest looking at Houston. Rare Sunday night game for them, 10 days to prepare. 
I'll look at Houston plus the points in this one. Get them plus four against the Lions. All right, guys, thanks for stopping by and hanging out with me in the deli for uh, these games. I hope you appreciate the video. Once again, thanks for watching. Give us that thumbs up if you like the video. And until next week, guys, let's cash some tickets. I'll talk to you next week here on Marco's Deli with the Sandwich Shop Games.